okay once again good morning all of you so in last lecture we have discussed about the surface emission properties so this the rate of emission of radiation by a body depends upon the three factors and what are these factors first is the temperature of the surface then nature of the surface then wavelength and frequency of the radiation okay so on these three properties emission radiation is depends okay so what are the different surface emission properties are there first one is total emissive power so what is meant by total emissive power that is emissive power is defined as the total amount of radiation emitted by a body per unit area per unit time okay it is expressed in watt per unit watt per meter square and we know that what is the stefan boltzmann law that is emissive power of a black body is directly proportional to fourth power of the absolute temperature by using that what is the equation eb is equal to sigma t raised to 4 so total emissive power at that time body emitted the radiation having different wavelengths are there having different wavelengths are there and then we have discussed about the second property that is monochromatic emissive power and in this in that case whatever the radiation emitted by any body that radiation having same wavelength is there so what is mean by monochromatic emissive power definition is the same but what is the difference whatever the radiation emitted by any body having the each radiation having same wavelength is there and that is nothing but monochromatic emissive power okay then after that we have discussed about the what is mean by emission from the real real surface so we know that what is the standard equation for the black body that is eb is equal to sigma into t raised to 4 and what is the unit of the eb that is watt per meter square suppose we have to calculate the rate of energy by using this emissive power then we have to multiply by that equation by the area so for eb is equal to sigma a t raised to 4 at that time we get the equation in the form of rate of energy okay and this is the equation which is used for the black body and suppose we have to consider the any body and for that any body we have to calculate the emissive power so how to calculate that emissive power that is we have to multiply by that equation by emissivity that is epsilon we have to multiply by the epsilon okay after that we have discussed about the emissivity so what is mean by emissivity emissivity is nothing but it is defined as the ratio of the emissive power of a body to the emissive power of a black body samajle black body la standard body consider kelela hai ani emissivity manje kay asnar hai ji kay apan body asnar hai tya body chi emissive power divided by emissive power of a black body that is nothing but emissivity so epsilon is equal to e upon eb this is the equation for the emissivity so we have calculated the equation for the black body so what is the emissivity for the black body that is 1 and what about the white body what is the emissivity for the white body that is zero okay so this is about the surface emission properties surface emission properties and after that we have discussed about the solid angle so solid angle is nothing but it is a 3d angle solid angle manje ka asnare ha 3d angle hai and it is defined as the portion of the space inside the sphere ek apan sphere consider kelta tyacha matla asa portion kiwa asa space apan consider karnar hai ki which is enclosed by a conical surface and with the vertex of the cone at the center of the sphere त्या कोणचा जो वर्टेक्स असणार आहे तो कोटा असणार आहे त्या स्पेअरच्या सेंटरला असणार आहे आणि तो कोनिकल जो शेप फॉर्म होणार आहे त्याचा जो काय अँगल असणार आहे दॅट इज नथिंग बट सॉलिड अँगल अँड हाऊ टू मेजर दिस सॉलिड अँगल इट इज मेजर्ड बाय दी रेशो ऑफ दी स्पेरिकल सरफेस एनक्लोज्ड बाय दी कोन म्हणजे कोणच्या ज्या वरती जो सरफेस आहे जो त्या कोनने एनक्लोज केलाय त्या सरफेसचा एरिया डिवायडेड बाय दी रेडियस ऑफ दॅट पर्टिक्युलर स्पेअर so by using that we have to calculate the solid angle we have to calculate the solid angle manje ekada point madhun jo radiation jat astil tithe ek conical shape create honar hai tya conical shape cha jo kai varcha surface asnar hai tya surface cha area divided by to jo apan sphere consider kelela hai tya sphere chi radius radius cha square ha jo ratio asnar hai that is nothing but solid angle how to measure the solid angle that is area divided by radius square and what is the unit of solid angle that is stay radiance stay radiance is the unit for the solid angle okay then we have discussed about the intensity of radiation so what is the unit of uh, notation for the intensity of radiation that is capital i and how to define it it is defined as the rate of energy leaving a surface in a given direction per unit solid angle per unit area manje i is equal to kya asnar hai dq divided by d omega into da okay rate of energy leaving divided by area into solid angle ha jo ratio asnar that is nothing but intensity of radiation 
okay so intensity of radiation is defined as the rate of energy leaving a surface in a given direction per unit solid angle per unit area of the emitting surface normal to the mean direction he lakshat thevaycha hai mhanje mean direction la jo kai normal area hai to area aplyala consider karaycha hai tar apan je equation baghitlela tya equation madhe apan da cos theta getlela hai karan to area hai to normal asnar hai da cos theta ha da hai to normal nasnar hai so because of that we have to take the area which is normal to the mean direction so from that we get the equation for the intensity of radiation i is equal to dq divided by d omega into da cos theta okay so this is about the intensity of radiation then we have discussed about the lambert's cosine law so what is the lambert's cos cosine law the law states that total emissive power e theta e theta manje ka asnar hai total emissive power asnar hai theta se meaning asnar hai tya particular theta direction madhe kay asnar hai emissive power so e theta from a radiating plane surface in any direction is directly proportional to the cosine of the angle of the emission manje e theta is directly proportional to cos theta so from that we get the equation as the e theta is equal to en cos theta and if theta is equal to 0 jal so theta 0 asnar hai tyavela en kay asnar hai if theta is equal to 0 then cos 0 is maximum asnar hai so e theta is equal to en at that time we get the maximum emissive power and javla theta 90 degree asnar hai tyavela we get the minimum because cos 90 kay asnar hai 0 asnar hai so because of that e theta becomes 0 so at that time we get the minimum emissive power minimum emissive power so after that we are finding the relation between the e and i e manje ka asnar hai emissive power and i manje ka asnar hai intensity of radiation so we have derived the equation for that and by deriving the equation we get the equation as a e is equal to pi into i manje ekadya body chi ji kai emissive power asnar hai ती काय असणार आहे इंटेंसिटी ऑफ रेडिएशनच्या पाय टाइम्स असणार आहे इमिसिव पावर ही 3.14 पट असणार आहे कशाच्या इंटेंसिटी ऑफ रेडिएशनच्या सो दिस इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन ई एंड आय सो मेनी टाइम्स दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज आस्क्ड इन द एमसीक्यू टाइप क्वेश्चंस व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन ई एंड आय सो वी हैव टू रिमेंबर ई इज इक्वल टू पाय इनटू आय इमिसिव पावर इज पाय टाइम्स द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ रेडिएशन ई इज इक्वल टू पाय इनटू i okay so this part we have covered in the last lecture now today we have to discuss the next point yes sir present the screen okay next slide okay so next point is radiation exchange between black bodies separated by a non absorbing medium radiation exchange between black bodies now we have to consider the two black bodies aplyala kay karaycha hai we have to consider the two black bodies one body is having area is a1 another body is area is a2 so we have to calculate the radiation exchange mhanje ji kay radiation किंवा जी काय रेट ऑफ एनर्जी लॉस होणार आहे एका बॉडीकडून दुसऱ्या बॉडीकडून दुसऱ्या बॉडीकडून पहिल्या बॉडीकडून आणि त्याच्यामुळे आपल्याला काहीतरी नेट हिट रेट ऑफ हिट ट्रान्सफर मिळणार आहे सो वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट दी और वी हॅव टू डिराईव्ह दी इक्वेशन फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर केस ओके देर आर टू ब्लॅक बॉडीज अँड दॅट टू बॉडीज आर इमिट इमिटिंग दी रेडिएशन एक बॉडी काय करणार आहे रेडिएशन इमिट करणार आहे दुसरी बॉडी पण सेम टाइमला रेडिएशन इमिट करणार आहे तर ह्या दोन्हीचा जो काही अल्टिमेट इफेक्ट असेल ते आपल्याला काय फाइंड आउट करायचं वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट दी रेट ऑफ एनर्जी ओके वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट दी रेट ऑफ एनर्जी सो फॉर दॅट वी हॅव टू डिराईव्हिंग दी डेरिव्हेशन सो फॉर दॅट वी हॅव टू डिराईव्हिंग दी डेरिव्हेशन ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हॅव टू राईट डाऊन दी सम टर्मिनॉलॉजी फॉर दी डिराईव्हिंग दी डेरिव्हेशन सो राईट डाऊन कन्सिडर हीट एक्सचेंज बिटवीन ऑल ऑफ यू राईट डाऊन कन्सिडर हीट एक्सचेंज बिटवीन consider heat exchange between heat exchange between elementary areas da1 and da2 consider heat exchange between heat exchange between elementary areas da1 and da2 da1 and da2 of of two black radiating bodies two black 
radiating bodies two black radiating bodies separated by a non absorbing medium separated by separated by a non absorbing medium non absorbing medium and having areas and having areas a1 and a2 and having areas a1 and a2 a1 and a2 capital a1 and capital a2 and temperature t1 and t2 respectively and temperature t1 and t2 respectively t1 and t2 respectively full stop the elementary areas the elementary areas the elementary areas at a distance r the elementary areas at a distance r apart elementary areas at a distance r apart and the normals to these and the normals and the normals to these to these areas make angles normal to these areas make angles theta 1 and theta 2 theta 1 and theta 2 with the line joining them with the line joining them with the line joining them line joining them full stop then each elemental area substance each elemental area each elemental area subtends a solid angle each elemental area each elemental area subtends a solid angle at the center of the other at the center of the other at the center of the other full stop at the center of the other full stop okay next line let let d omega 1 let d omega 1 be subtended at d omega 1 manje ka asnara ha solid angle asnara at d omega 1 be subtended at da1 at area da1 by da2 samajhte baka solid angle omega 1 ha kuta asnara hai एरिया वन लासना है पन तो कशा मुल सप्टेंड जाले असना है because of the area 2 ओके okay? and similarly d omega 2 d omega 2 सप्टेंडेड at da2 सप्टेंडेड at da2 by da1 सप्टेंडेड at da2 by da1 by da1 ओके okay? फर्स्ट फर्स्ट रिगार्डिंग दिस डेरिवेशन वाउ टू कन्सिडरिंग हिट एक्सटेन्ड बिट्वीन एलिमेंट्री एरिया डी ए वन एंड डी ए टू एक मोटी प्लेट है एरिया जो है तो ए वन है देन अनादर प्लेट इज देर है so from that plate we have to considering the small elementary areas that is da1 and da2 okay so in between these two plate there is a non absorbing medium is there okay and the a1 plate having temperature is t1 a2 plate having temperature is t2 okay and the distance between these two elementary areas whatever the elementary areas we have to considering that is da1 and da2 so the distance between these two plates is nothing but r okay and the normals to these areas makes angle theta 1 and theta 2 with the line joining them je ya don area la je ka apan line joining kelile hai ti line tancha normal shi angle kay karnar hai theta 1 ani theta 2 karnar hai 
okay then d omega 1 is nothing but subtended angle solid angle at da1 by da2 and then Okay, so next slide. Yes, sir. Take next slide. Okay, so draw this diagram. All of you draw this diagram. So we are considering one small elementary area that is DA1 and DA2. So capital A1 is nothing but total area of plate 1. Capital A2 is nothing but total area of plate 2. And in that we are considering the two small areas DA1 and DA2. Temperature of area A1 is T1 and temperature of plate A2 is that is T2 and the distance between two elemental areas that is nothing but R. Jika distance I think I asked R as nare and J angle substance karna the angle kaya theta 1 and theta 2. So all of you draw this diagram. ओके समझ ले क्या बगा दोन प्लेट है एक आ प्लेट सा एरिया ए वन है दूसरा प्लेट सा एरिया ए टू है ए वन जी प्लेट है तीसरा टेम्परेचर टी वन है ए टू जी प्लेट है तीसरा टेम्परेचर टी टू है ए वन प्लेट मतलब अपन स्मॉल एलिमेंटल एरिया के लिए तथा एरिया डी ए वन है प्लेट बी प्लेट टू मतलब अपन स्मॉल that angle is nothing but theta 1 and theta 2. Theta 1 is for the elemental area da1 and theta 2 for the elemental area da2. Okay. So, this is about the construction of the radiation exchange between black bodies separated by a non absorbing medium. There is a non absorbing medium is there. Non absorbing medium is there. Okay. So, now we have to write down the equations for the. How to write down the equations for the solid angles? Okay, so what is mean by solid angle? Then upon solid angle, kasa find out karto ya? Now we have to consider the elemental area da one. Okay, so for the solid angle one, we have to that is elemental area da one kudun radiation kuto transfer huna ra da two kudun transfer huna ra. Okay, so we have to take the area where the radiation will be acting. जे प्लेट ए वरून रेडिएशन हे प्लेट 2 वरती स्ट्राइक होणार आहे तर प्लेट 2 चा आपल्याला एरिया घ्यायचा आहे वी हॅव टू टेक द एरिया ऑफ द प्लेट 2 ओके व्हेअर द रेडिएशन्स आर स्ट्राइकिंग ओके दैट एरिया वी हॅव टू टेक सो इन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सॉलिड एंगल वी हॅव टू रिटर्न वन इक्वेशन फॉर द सॉलिड एंगल दैट इज एरिया ऑफ द व्हेअर द रेडिएशन्स आर स्ट्राइकिंग डिवाइडेड बाय that radius square okay so in that form we have to write down the equation for the solid angle for the plate that is elementary area d1 d1 sati apan javela solid angle lena rahe so solid angle is nothing but d omega 1 okay so d omega 1 is equal to area where the radiation will strike the plate a varun jika radiation emit huna rahe plate 2 varthi strike huna rahe so we have to take the area of the plate 2 पण हा एरिया कसा घ्यायचा आपल्याला द प्लेअर एरिया व्हिच इज नॉर्मल टू द डायरेक्शन आता हे जे आपण डिस्टन्स आर जी आहे ती नॉर्मल नसणार आहे सो वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट द एरिया व्हिच इज नॉर्मल टू द रेडिएशन व्हिच इज नॉर्मल टू द 
radiation so for that whatever the da2 is there da2 is not normal to that da1 so how to calculate that normal area which is normal to the that particular da2 so for that we have to take the da2 cos theta okay so for the d omega 1 is equal to da2 cos theta that area which is normal to the or which is a radiation which directly strikes on that particular area so we have to take the area as a da2 cos theta divided by distance kasnara what is the distance between these two elementary areas that is r so we have to take the radius square so da2 cos theta divided by r square this is the solid angle for the elementary area da1 okay then we have to similarly we have to write down the solid angle for the elementary area da2 so d omega 2 ka nra d omega 2 is equal to da1 cos theta 1 divided by r square okay samajla ka baka solid angle manje kay asnar hai jithe radiation strike honar hai titla area pan to normal aslela area gaycha hai okay ani divided by distance square je kay doni jithun radiation transfer honar hai evdi radiation na distance travel kelela hai teche distance a square so r square is there so in this way we have to write down the equations for the solid angle for elementary area 1 and solid angle for elementary area 2 okay so all of you write down this two equations and give give the name of that is equation number 1 okay give the name as the equation number 1 write down the d omega 1 is equal to da2 cos theta 2 divided by r square and then d omega 2 is equal to da1 cos theta 1 divided by r square and for this both equations we have to write down the equation number 1 okay so all of you write down the equation number 1 write down the solid angle for the elementary area 1 and solid angle for the elementary area 2 okay d omega 1 is equal to write down that equation then d omega 2 write down that equation then that is the equation number 1 okay then next slide so now we have to calculate the energy leaving da1 in the direction given by the angle per unit solid angle आता जो काही स्मॉल एलिमेंटरी एरिया आपण कन्सिडर केलेला आहे डी ए वन तिथून काय होणार आहे एनर्जी लिव होणार आहे आणि ती एनर्जी कुठं स्ट्राईक होणार आहे दॅट एनर्जी विल बी स्ट्राईक ऑन दी एरिया टू और डी ए टू ओके सो फॉर दॅट वी हॅव टू राईट डाऊन दी इक्वेशन ओके सो वी हॅव सीन वन कन्सेप्ट दॅट इज इंटेन्सिटी ऑफ रेडिएशन ओके आपण एक डेफिनेशन बघितलेलं आहे that is the intensity of radiation so what is the equation for the intensity of radiation that is i is equal to dq divided by da into d omega apan kay mhanlele rate of energy leaving per unit solid angle per unit area per unit solid angle per unit area manje i is equation kay hota i is equal to dq divided by da into d omega so from that equation we have to calculate the dq dq manje kay asnar hai energy leaving so from that particular equation how to write the equation for the dq dq sathi apan equation kay lehu shakto hai i is equal to kay asnar intensity of radiation i is equal to dq divided by da into d omega so from the from that equation how to write the equation for the dq so dq is equal to i into da into d omega i into da into d omega पण आपण पर युनिट सॉलिड अँगल घेणार आहे म्हणजे तो डी ओमेगा कॅन्सल होणार आहे सो व्हॉट इज द रिमेनिंग टर्म आय इन टू एरिया विच इज दी नॉर्मल एरिया जो नॉर्मल असणार आहे तो एरिया घ्यायचा आहे म्हणजे आय म्हणजे काय असणार आहे ओके सो इंटेन्सिटी ऑफ रेडिएशन आता आपण ह्या ब्लॅक बॉडीज कन्सिडर केलेले आहे सो व्हॉट इज द इंटेन्सिटी ऑफ रेडिएशन दॅट इज what is the intensity of radiation i b1 and what is the area which is the normal that is da1 cos theta1 okay so all of you write down the equation the energy leaving da1 the energy leaving da1 in the direction given by the angle in the direction given by the angle per unit solid angle per unit solid angle okay so we know that equation of the intensity of radiation that is i is equal to dq upon da into 
d omega so from that equation we have to write down the equation for the dq so i into d into d omega so we have to calculate per unit solid angle so therefore d omega will be cancel so i into area which is normal to the direction so ib1 into da1 cos theta1 okay so ib is nothing but black body intensity and da1 cos theta1 manje kay asnar is write down the meaning of da1 cos theta1 is equal to projection of da1 on the line between the centers manje ha normal area asnar hai projection of da1 on the line between the centers the line between the centers okay so write down the meaning of da1 cos theta1 okay this is the energy leaving from the da1 okay so now the rate of radiant energy leaving da1 and striking on da2 is given by now we have to calculate the g small elemental area varun energy leave hunar hai ani ti small area da2 varti strike hunar hai ti energy apan now how to find out that equation for that So write down the equation. The rate of radiant energy d a one, the rate rate of radiant energy leaving d a one and striking on d a two, and striking on d a two is given by is given by. Okay, so. earlier equation we have given per unit solid angle is given so now we have to take the solid angle also there so we have to multiply that particular equation by the solid angle okay so rate of energy leaving da1 and striking on the da2 manje small area jo hai da1 titun ji kai energy leaving hunar hai ani ti kutha strike hunar hai da2 varti strike hunar hai ti energy apela find out karayche so we have to write down the notation that is dq 1 to 2 manje small area 1 and to put a strike on our energy two worthy strike on our so write down the equation dq 1 to 2 is equal to ib1 into ib1 into d1 cos theta 1 d omega 1 okay bagacha je equation hota per unit solid angle getlelo ata apan per unit solid angle nahi getla apan direct equation getlelo so have to multiply by the solid angle so therefore what is that equation dq 1 to 2 is equal to ib1 into d1 Into cos theta one into d omega one, okay. Okay, so we have equation of d omega one. Apply it d omega one. See equation. I already equation one. Upon the little I. So in that, what is the value of d omega one? So d omega one is nothing but d a two cos theta two divided by r square. So that value we have to put in this equation instead of d omega one. We have to put that value. so equation becomes that is dq1 to 2 that is energy leaving from da1 and striking on da2 that is dq1 to 2 is equal to ib1 into cos theta1 cos theta2 da1 da2 divided by r square okay so we have written the instead of d omega1 we have written the equation of the solid angle and that value we have to put it into this equation and we get the equation as a dq1 to 2 is equal to I B one into cos theta one into cos theta two into D A one into D A two divided by R square and that is the equation number two. Okay, so all of you write down equation number two. D Q one two two is equal to I B one into cos theta one into cos theta two into D A one into D A two divided by R square divided by R square and that is the equation number two. That is the equation number two. okay then next slide now this energy is absorbed by the elementary area da2 manje hi ji energy 
डी ए वन हा एलिमेंट वरुण लीव जाए ती डी ए टू नब्सॉर्ब के लिए एनर्जी ओके सो नाउ द एनर्जी रेडिएटेड बाय डी ए टू एंड एब्सॉर्ड बाय डी ए वन आता हे इक्वेशन टू जे है इक्वेशन वन वरुण एरिया वन वरुण लीव जा है एरिया टू वरती स्ट्राइक है नाउ हेव टू राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन फॉर दी एनर्जी रेडिएटेड बाय डी ए टू आता एरिया टू न एनर्जी लीव के लिए एरिया वन न का एब्सॉर्ब के लिए सो फॉर दैट वेव टू राइट डाउन दी इक्वेशन सो राइट डाउन द एनर्जी रेडिएटेड बाय डी ए टू द एनर्जी रेडिएटेड बाय डी ए टू एनर्जी रेडिएटेड बाय डी ए टू एंड एब्सॉर्ब बाय डी ए वन एंड एब्सॉर्ब बाय डी ए वन इज गिवन बाय द एनर्जी रेडिएटेड बाय डी ए टू एंड एब्सॉर्ब बाय डी ए वन इज गिवन बाय इज गिवन बाय सो राइट ऑन फॉर दैट वेव टू राइट ऑन द इक्वेशन सो नाउ एनर्जी लिविंग फ्रॉम द एरिया टू एंड एब्सॉर्बिंग बाय एरिया वन सो डी क्यू नाउ डी क्यू बिकम्स टू टू वन सो राइट ऑन द इक्वेशन डी क्यू टू टू वन इज इक्वल टू डी क्यू टू टू वन इज इक्वल टू आता इंटेन्सिटी ऑफ ब्लैक बॉडी अपन वन मन तो टू एनर है सो वे हेव टू चेंज द इक्वेशन इन दैट मैनर सो डी क्यू टू टू वन इज इक्वल टू वॉट आई बी टू इन टू कॉस थीटा टू इन टू कॉस थीटा वन into da2 into da1 divided by r square and that is the equation number 3 that is the equation number 3 samale 1 to 2 kiti energy manje 1 varun je ka energy leave jale 2 varti strike jale tyacha equation lelela hai now we have written the equation for the energy leaving from the 2 and striking on the 1 so what is that equation dq2 to 1 is equal to IB two into cos theta two cos theta one da two da one divided by r square and that is the equation number three. Okay, समझे सर गया ना a one to a two कितनी energy transfer जाली a two to a one कितनी energy transfer जाली है चाहे पहले equation माही थे. Now we have to write down the equation for the the net rate of transfer of energy between da one and da two. मन जे समझा a one ना चंबर युडी energy a two ला pass के लिए अनि a two ना समझा पन्ना एवी एनर्जी टू कड़ी ए कड़े पास के लिए सो व्हाट इज द नेट रेट ऑफ ही ट्रांसफर दैट इज हंड्रेड माइनस फिफ्टी सो इन दैट वे वे हैव टू कैलकुलेट दी नेट रेट ऑफ ट्रांसफर ऑफ एनर्जी बिटवीन दी डी ए वन एंड डी ए टू ओके सो राइट ऑन दी नेक्स्ट लाइन द नेट रेट ऑफ ट्रांसफर ऑफ एनर्जी द नेट रेट ऑफ ट्रांसफर ऑफ एनर्जी बिटवीन द नेट रेट ऑफ ट्रांसफर ऑफ एनर्जी बिटवीन डी ए वन एंड डी ए टू डी ए वन एंड डी ए टू इज डी ए वन एंड डी ए टू इज सो राइट डाउन डी क्यू वन टू नाउ वेव टू डोंट मेक द लाइन बिट्वीन और डैश बिट्वीन वन टू टू इफ वे हेव टेकिंग द डैश देन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट एनर्जी ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम द एरिया वन टू एरिया टू नाउ वे हेव टू टेक द डायरेक्टली वन टू सो नेट ही ट्रांसफर बिटवीन एलिमेंटली एरिया डी ए वन एंड डी ए टू अपन का डी क्यू वन टू इन दैट वे वेव टू रिटर्न द इक्वेशन दैट इज डी क्यू वन टू इज इक्वल टू डी क्यू वन टू टू माइनस डी क्यू टू टू वन ओके सो ऑल ऑफ यू राइट ऑन दिस इक्वेशन डी क्यू वन टू इज इक्वल टू डी क्यू वन टू टू माइनस डी क्यू टू टू वन ओके सो टेक दिस सब्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ इक्वेशन टू एंड थ्री देन वी गेट द इक्वेशन एज ए डी क्यू वन टू टू dq12 is equal to da1 da2 cos theta1 cos theta2 divided by r square this term this terms are common terms okay and so what is the remaining terms in the bracket that is ib1 minus ib2 okay so all of you write down the equation dq12 is equal to da1 da2 cos theta1 cos theta2 divided by r square into bracket ib1 minus ib2 okay ata We know the relation between E and I. E means the capacitor, emissive power, and I means the capacitor intensity of radiation. So in this equation, I B one is nothing but intensity of black body. Okay. So for that, we have to write down the that relation. So instead of I B one, we have to write down the E B one divided by pi. Okay. And I B two is equal to E B two divided by pi. Okay. 
आपल्याला रिलेशन मिळालेलं आहे व्हॉट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन ई अँड आय ई इज इक्वल टू पाय इन टू आय सो फ्रॉम दॅट वू हॅव रिटर्न द इक्वेशन फॉर दी आय बी वन अँड आय बी टू सो आय बी वन इज इक्वल टू ई बी वन डिवायडेड बाय पाय अँड आय बी टू इज इक्वल टू ई बी टू डिवायडेड बाय पाय ओके सो नाव वू हॅव टू पुट दॅट व्हॅल्यूज सो इन दी ब्रॅकेट आय बी वन इज देअर आय बी टू इज देअर सो इन्स्टेड ऑफ दॅट वू हॅव टू रायट डाऊन दी ई बी वन बाय पाय ई बी टू बाय बाय so we have to take the pi as a common so therefore equation becomes so therefore dq12 is equal to da1 da2 cos theta1 cos theta2 divided by pi r square into bracket eb1 minus eb2 and that is the equation number 4 okay so we have to write down the equation dq12 is equal to da1 da2 cos theta1 cos theta2 divided by pi r square into bracket eb1 minus eb2 and that is the equation number 4 so all of you write down equation number 4 in the ppt there is a that part is not seen to you okay so we have to write down the equation number 4 okay so we know that we know that another equation that is emissive power emissive power of a black body eb is equal to what sigma t raised to 4 what is the stefan boltzmann law eb is equal to sigma t raised to 4 so instead of eb1 we have to write down the sigma t1 raised to 4 so therefore dq12 is equal to instead of eb1 we have to write down sigma t1 raised to 4 and instead of eb2 we have to write down the sigma t2 raised to 4 okay so dq12 is equal to sigma da1 da2 cos theta1 cos theta2 divided by pi r square into bracket t1 raised to 4 minus t2 raised to 4 t1 raised to 4 minus t2 raised to 4 okay samajhle ka sagane tar he equation kase dasnar hai tar je ka apan small elemental area consider kelele hai da1 ani da2 kya doni madhe je kai net rate of heat transfer asnar hai so how to calculate that net rate of heat transfer by using this equation that is sigma into da1 da2 cos theta 1 cos theta 2 divided by pi r square into bracket t1 raised to 4 minus t2 raised to 4 okay then next slide write down that last equation as the equation number 5 in the form of sigma t1 raised to 4 that equation is num equation number is 5 okay so now we have to calculate the टोटल रेट ऑफ हिट ट्रांसफर हा पण स्मॉल एलिमेंटल एरिया साठी कॅल्क्युलेट केलेला आहे पण आपले प्लेट चा जो एरिया तो ए वन आणि ए टू आहे सो फॉर दॅट वेव टू कॅल्क्युलेटिंग दी नेट रेट ऑफ हिट ट्रान्सफर सो हाऊ टू कॅल्क्युलेट दिस बाय युजिंग दिस इक्वेशन सो हॅव टू टेक दी इंटिग्रेशन वी हॅव टू टेक दी इंटिग्रेशन सो नेक्स्ट लाईन टू राईट डाऊन द रेट ऑफ टोटल नेट हिट ट्रान्सफर द रेट ऑफ टोटल नेट हिट ट्रान्सफर द रेट ऑफ टोटल नेट हिट ट्रान्सफर फॉर द total areas for the total areas a1 and a2 a1 and a2 is given by a1 and a2 is given by samale magatle je equation hota dq12 he small elemental area sathi hota da1 ani da2 sathi now we have to calculate the for the total area plate sa area kay tar a1 hai dusra plate sa area a2 hai so for that we have to calculate the total net heat transfer so for that we have to take the integration so q1 to 2 is equal to integration of dq12 okay so we have to take the integration so sigma t1 raised to 4 minus t2 raised to 4 so integration we have to take the two times integration because da1 and da2 is there so integration with respect to a1 and with respect to a2 so write down the remaining term is there cos theta1 cos theta2 da1 da2 divided by pi r square and write down the equation number 6 write down the equation number 6 samale ka baka apan integration je ghenar hai te with respect to a1 and a2 ghenar hai and that is the equation number 6 
okay so that is the equation number 6 then write on the rate of radiant energy emitted by a1 and that falls on a2 okay so in the next line we have to write down the rate of radiant energy emitted by carbon darlo the rate of radiant energy emitted by a1 and that falls on a2 so from equation 2 we have to write down the equation q1 to 2 is equal to I B one. So already we have written the equation for D Q one to two. That is equation number two. So in that manner we have to write down the equation for the total rate of heat transfer. So Q one to two is equal to what? I B one. We have to take the integration two times. That is with respect to A one and with respect to A two. So for that integration A one integration A two cos theta one cos theta two D A one D A two divided by R square. So my love, we have. ऑलरेडी वेव कैलक्युलेटेड इक्वेशन नंबर टू तो इक्वेशन जो होता है कैसा स्मॉल एलिमेंटल एरिया होता है सो नाउ हैव टू टेकिंग द टोटल एरिया सो इक्वेशन बिकम्स क्यू वन टू टू इज इक्वल टू आई बी वन सो हैव टू टेक द इंटीग्रेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ए वन एंड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ए टू सो देर फॉर इंटीग्रेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ए वन एंड इंटीग्रेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ए टू कॉस थीटा वन कॉस थीटा टू डी ए वन डी ए टू डिवाइडेड बाई आर स्क्वेर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ आई बी सो वी नो दैट वट इज द इक्वेशन फॉर दैट आई बी इज दैट इज सिग्मा टी वन डेज टू फोर So Q one to two is equal to sigma T one raised to four. Then integration with respect to a one, integration with respect to a two, cos theta one, cos theta two, d a one, d a two divided by pi r square. That is the equation number seven. Okay. So all of you write down up to equation number seven. Q one to two is equal to sigma T one raised to four. Take two times the integration with respect to a one and a two. So we get. Equation number seven. So I B one, I B one's equation might be to mala E B one upon pi, okay? And E B one just agar upon kya lete sigma T one raised to four. So in that manner we have written that equation. So at the denominator there is a pi is there because I B one is nothing but E B one upon pi and E B one just agar upon kya lete lete sigma T one raised to four. So in that way we have written the equation and we get the equation number seven that is Q one to two. Okay, then next slide. Okay, so the rate of total energy radiated by A one is given by. अतः आप लोग लमाइते हैं. That is Stephen Boltzmann law. Stephen Boltzmann को log में कैसे आएंगे लाए? E B is equal to E B is directly proportional to the fourth power of the temperature. मतलब emissive power of a black body is directly proportional to the fourth power of the temperature. बरोबर है. मतलब E B is equation का है. E B is equal to sigma t raised to four. E B is equal to sigma t raised to four. So at that time, what is the unit of E B? That is watt per meter square. अन्य तरह अपन area ना multiply किए ले. तब तक आप लोग कहेंगे तो rate of energy मिलता है. मतलब E B is equal to area into sigma into t raised to four. That equation is nothing but रेट ऑफ एनर्जी ट्रांसफर नुस्त ई बी सीमा टी रेस टू फोर तो यूनिट वैट पर मीटर स्क्वेर सो रेट ऑफ टोटल एनर्जी रेडिएटेड बाय ए वन अपन कैलक्युलेट कस करू शो बाय यूजिंग दैट इक्वेशन दैट इज सिग्मा ए वन टी वन रेस टू फोर ओके सो ऑल ऑफ यू राइट डाउन द रेट ऑफ टोटल एनर्जी रेडिएटेड बाय ए वन इज गिवन बाय द रेट ऑफ द रेट ऑफ टोटल एनर्जी Radiated by a one is given by total energy radiated by a one is given by is given by write down the equation q one is equal to q one is equal to a one sigma t one raised to four q one is equal to a one sigma t one raised to four Q1 is equal to A1 sigma T1 raised to four. Okay, so next line, right on next line. Hence, hence the fraction of the rate of energy leaving area A1 
Hence, the fraction of the rate of energy leaving area A1, leaving area A1, and impinging on area A2 is given by. Hence, the fraction of rate of energy leaving area A1 and impinging on area A2 is given by. Just the kind meaning as Nare, Jukai area A1 worthy Jikai energy leave on a ray. Energy energy A to the strike on a Okay, A one Madun energy Jika live on a right, the mac just does not right. That the Kahi energy he A to the strike on a right. So that fraction is nothing but energy striking on the element area two and total energy emitted. That fraction we have to calculate. Okay, hence the fraction of the rate of energy leaving area A one and impinging on area A two is given by. So write down the equation Q one to two. मुझे एवड एनर्जी एरिया वन वरुण लीव होना रहा है अन्य ए टू वर्थ इस ट्राइक होना रहा है अन्य क्यू वन क्यू वन मुझे क्या आसना रहा है टोटल एनर्जी इमिटेड बाय दैट बॉडी मुझे ए वन में दून भरपूर एनर्जी बाहर पड़ना रहा मुझे शंभर एनर्जी बाहर पड़ता सेल अन्य तेली विस एवडीज एनर्जी so write down that ratio Q1 to 2, Q1 to 2 divided by Q1. This is the fraction. Which is kiti energy 1 to 2 strike on a and it a one modun kiti energy total energy by her partner. Hazo ratio as nara. That is nothing but Q1 to 2 divided by Q1 is equal to. So take the ratio of these two. So already we have calculated the Q1 to 2. And we have calculated the equation of the Q1. So take the ratio of these two, then we get the equation as a 1 upon A1 because sigma T1 raised to 4 and sigma T1 raised to 4 will cancel. So what is the remaining term? That is 1 upon A1 integration with respect to A1, integration with respect to A2, cos theta 1, cos theta 2 into dA1 into dA2 divided by pi r square. Okay, equation number 7 I have plugged in. And Q1 is the equation, the dunita ratio. So from that ratio, we get the equation as a Q1 to 2 divided by Q1 is equal to 1 upon A1 integration of A1 with respect to A1 integration with respect to A2 cos theta 1 cos theta 2 dA1 dA2 divided by pi r square. Okay, Q1 has ratio of kai mantla f1 to 1 f1 to 2. Okay. What is the another name for that? That is Q122 divided by Q1 is nothing but F122. And that is the equation number 8. That is the equation number 8. And what is the meaning of this F122 is known as configuration factor or surface factor or view factor between the two radiating surfaces and is a function of geometry only. And is a function of geometry only. Okay. It is nothing but configuration factor mantle that the key surface factor mantle that the key what the view factor mantle that the okay so write down q1 1 1 2 2 divided by q1 is equal to f 1 2 2 that is the equation number 8 that is the equation number 8 and f 1 2 2 is known as f 1 2 2 is known as configuration factor so write down all of you write down that last statement Yep, one to two. Okay, so yep, one to two is known as configuration factor or surface factor or view factor between the two radiating surfaces and is known as a and is a function of geometry only. Has a view factor, like you have a surface factor, like you have a configuration factor, like you have a function as not right, it is depending upon the geometry only. Which is Jika play don't areas that the teacher Jika geometry, the Kasha shape made it, the Kasha ek mekancha, ek mekancha with respect to it. The Chavarti Kasara to say. Equation depends on the right. half factors or configuration factor. It depends upon the geometry. 
okay so f1 to 2 is known as configuration factor or surface factor or view factor between the two radiating surfaces and is known as is and is a function of geometry only okay then next slide right on thus thus kiwa tela shape factor pan manla jate so now we have to write the write down the definition for that particular shape factor so configuration factor hai kiwa view factor hai tyacha anki ek nav hai tar shape factor hai so now we have to write down the definition for that thus the shape factor may be defined as thus the shape factor may be defined as thus the shape factor may be defined as the fraction of radiative energy thus the shape factor may be defined as may be defined as the fraction of radiative energy that is diffused from one surface element that is diffused from one surface element and strikes the other surface directly and strikes the other surface directly with no interviewing reflections with no intervening reflections with no intervening reflections okay so what is mean by shape factor shape factor manje kay asnar hai the fraction of radiative energy that is diffused from one surface element and strikes the other surface directly manje eka don surface hai eka surface varun ji kay energy leave hunar hai manje titun bahar padnar hai ani ti directly dusra surface varti strike hunar hai ti ji energy hai kiwa to jo fraction hai that is nothing but shape factor samajhte baka je ek area hai a1 area hai dusra a2 area hai tar a1 object madun ji kay energy डायरेक्टली ए टू वरती स्ट्राइक हो रहा है दैट इज नथिंग बट शेप फैक्टर सो फ्रैक्शन ऑफ रेडियोटिव एनर्जी दैट इज डिफ्यूज फ्रॉम वन सर्फेस एलिमेंट एंड स्ट्राइक्स दी अदर सर्फेस डायरेक्टली विथ नो एंटरवेनिंग रिफ्लेक्शन सो फुल स्टॉप देन फर्दर हाउ टू राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन फॉर क्यू वन टू टू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दैट शेप फैक्टर क्यू वन टू टू इज इक्वल टू राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन एफ वन टू टू इक्वेशन कशा वन मिला वी हैव इक्वेशन नंबर एट क्यू वन टू टू इज इक्वल क्यू वन टू टू डिवाइडेड बाय क्यू वन इज इक्वल टू एफ वन टू टू सो फ्रॉम दैट क्यू वन टू टू इज इक्वल टू क्या है एफ वन टू टू इंटू क्यू वन सो फ्रॉम दैट क्यू वन टू टू इज इक्वल टू एफ वन टू टू वट इज दैल्यू ऑफ क्यू वन सो ऑलरेडी वी हैव रिटर्न द इक्वेशन फॉर द क्यू वन दैट इज ए वन सिग्मा टी वन डेज टू फोर सो क्यू वन टू टू इज इक्वल टू वी गेट द इक्वेशन एज एफ वन टू टू Into a1 into sigma into t1 raised to four, and that is the equation number nine. That is the equation number nine. Okay, that is the equation number nine. That is the equation number nine. Okay. So next line we have to write down. Similarly, similarly, the rate of radiant energy by a2. आता हे आपण 1 2 2 साठी इक्वेशन लिहिली सगळी नाउ वी हैव टू राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन फॉर द 2 2 1 सरफेस 2 2 सरफेस 1 सो सिमिलरली द रेट ऑफ रेडिएंट एनर्जी बाय ए2 द रेट ऑफ रेडिएंट एनर्जी बाय ए2 द फॉल्स ऑन ए1 द फॉल्स ऑन ए1 द फॉल्स ऑन ए1 फ्रॉम इक्वेशन 3 जी का इक्वेशन आपलं 3 आहे फ्रॉम इक्वेशन 3 is given by is given by equation 3 je lelele apan so equation number 3 we have written for the small elemental area da2 now we have to write down the equation for the total surfaces there a2 is nothing but total surface area of that particular body so for that we have to write down the equation so from equation 3 is given by is given by q221 Q two to one, Q two to one is equal to Q two to one is equal to sigma t two raised to four, sigma t two raised to four, sigma t two raised to four, because we have written the equation for the body number two. So what is the temperature of body number two? That is T two. 
so in that way we have to write down the equation q2 to 1 is equal to sigma t2 raised to 4 take the integration with respect to a1 and integration with respect to a2 so we get the equation as a cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 into da1 into da2 divided by pi r square divided by pi r square so much like the supply equation q1 to 2 may allow. similarly we have to write down the equation for q2 to 1 and already upon dq1 to 2 dq2 to 1 calculate kill and that equations for this small elemental area now we have to write down the equation for the total area so we have taken the q2 to 1 and what is that equation that is sigma t2 raised to 4 integration a1 integration a2 cos theta 1 cos theta 2 da1 da2 divided by pi r square pi r square okay then write down the next the rate of total energy radiated by A2 is given by. Similarly, we have to that the body of the radiation emit with it. That is nothing but emissive power of a block body. And what is that equation? Sigma T raised to 4. The area and multiply the rate of energy. So in that way, we have to write down the equation. The rate of total energy radiated by A2 is given by. The rate of total energy radiated by A2 is given by. The Zukai surface area E2. The Tunjika energy radiate Hunarai. That's the equation upon Kailu Shakthoi. So write down that equation Q2 is equal to A2 sigma T2 raised to 4. A2 sigma T2 raised to 4. Okay, Q2 is equal to A2 sigma T2 raised to 4. Okay, so remaining part we have to take in the tomorrow's lecture. So here we have to stop. Yes, sir, please stop your recording and stop the sharing of the screen. So all of you put your roll numbers in the chat box so that I will take your attendance from that chat box. Yes, sir, don't close the meeting. I will take the attendance and after that we have to close the meeting.